Welcome to this atmospheric semi-abstract watercolour painting with lots of fun techniques including painting with a plastic store card cut up and I'm going to show you just this simple painting using just two colours. Shall we get started? This is the photograph that I'm using and you can find this on pexel.com and the link for this is in the description below. Here are all the materials I'll be using in this tutorial and again a list of these will can be found in the description below. Just click show more or the little down arrow which you can find just beneath the video. I'm wetting the paper, I'm using hot press paper but you can use cold press paper and it is 9 by 12 inches and I'm using a large flat soft brush and I'm wetting the sky area. I'm using indigo as a starter, it's a nice grey but you can use any grey. I'm using my size 10 round black velvet brush and believe it or not instead of my ordinary plastic palettes or tin palettes I'm just using a piece of watercolour paper and I'm applying this indigo wash wet into wet leaving little gaps there for the sky making the paint darker here and there but this is a very very loose technique it's not sort of a the formal sort of traditional way of painting in watercolor it's very very loose and that's the reason why I'm using the hot press paper because the paint really moves this is actually Naples yellow but you could use raw sienna or yellow ochre and I'm just tilting there actually because I saw a little puddle so I'm just tilting that to the side and I'm going to wipe that off with a piece of kitchen towel but actually you could let the water run back in again whatever you like as you can see there I've got a bit of framing tape to actually tilt my board as well but you can paint this on the flat I'm using the size 10 brush and just painting this wash wet in wet just tilting as you go just seeing what happens and enjoying the process It's so lovely just all this tilting and you get the little bits where it's drying off a bit so you can see that white cloud there. I've given it a little spray with my spritzer bottle because if the paint's drying a bit you can get it moving again but it's just you almost getting these other layers and then it's not actually drying so it's quite magical but just remember if you want to clean up a little bit have a little bit of kitchen towel on standby and you can just mop up your little drips and things like that but isn't it gorgeous there the way the sky is developing. I'm using my pipette just to drop some water in this drying wash all the things you're not supposed to do in watercolor and it sort of dilutes what's on the paper and it can actually create back runs but this is all about the sort of the the atmospheric and the abstract creating this sort of wonderful atmospheric sky with the back runs and the softness and then we'll be using the card to create the mountains and the textures it's really exciting and I really encourage you to have a go it's so much fun
So I'm using the plastic card now with neat creamy paint, but there's a puddle on the paper and I'm just dropping this paint in using the edge of the card to paint with and try to keep your fingers away from the paint by holding the other end of the card. It does get a bit messy this, but as you can see, you get lots of accidental sort of mistakes in a way, but you kind of just go with it, see what happens. It's very therapeutic this. I'm using the card now just to kind of scratch in on the side of the paper just to make sort of marks in the water lovely straight sort of rippling lines and just sort of using the card as well to scrape off and print on some paint using both those techniques you can put on with the card but you can also scrape off and move it around as well it's such great fun you're never quite sure what you're going to get but you get lots of textural marks and it kind of creates more of a semi-abstract sort of background mountains here and i'm just take your time as well you it's not a race you don't have to hurry just see what happens and everyone's got a different take on this a different feel for it and it's you know it, the more you do this as well the more confident you get so try it on a little scrap of paper to begin with to build up that confidence but my paper is still damp believe it or not it's, I've not blow dried this I'm still working on damp paper but using quite thick creamy paint literally straight from the tube here and applying it so I've really sort of worked a lot light to dark the traditional sort of watercolor process and the other thing is you want to keep lots of light still I'm using the pipette just to get things moving again hopefully create some happy accidents some back runs and some textures
as you saw there I just really got rid of a lot of paint there to get the light back and I've used a bit of kitchen towel as well just to sort of take off that paint because if you see the reference photograph there's a lot of light in that body of water I think I'll leave it there for now I don't want to overwork this painting can you believe it I really basically just use one color the indigo and actually you could use lots of different dark colors so why not give it a try I'm just removing my framing tape just to reveal this lovely white border. I have had a few leaks, but I'm really pleased with it. I feel like I've had a bit of art therapy, so why not give it a go? If you'd like to see more videos like this, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get updates of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.